Sweet. All right, let's, uh, let's work on this problem here. This problem says 6 equals 5c minus 9 minus 2c. So remember, when it's trying to solve an equation um, and for a variable, we need to get our variable isolated. And it's so important for us to understand we need to get our variable all by itself. So we can say the value of our variable equals this number or this you know um, quantity. So right now, I see I have two, um, two variables here. Well, this ain't going to work like this, all right? Um, I can't have two variables. I can only have one here. So by using the associative property, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this problem. So I could say 5c minus 2c minus 9, all right? So now you can see that I can rearrange this so it works that I can have my 5c and my 2c next to each other. As long as you just got to remember with your social property, just be careful with your signs. Make sure you keep those signs uh, the same. So now I can actually, what we call, combine like terms. Since these have the same factors, I can now combine them. So 5c minus 2c is going to be 3c. A big mistake, which students would say it's 3, or it's just um, 3, or um, it's just c. Oh, I don't know, there's a lot of different things. But just remember, think of it as like uh, five cantaloupes minus two cantaloupes is gonna be three cantaloupes. You're still gonna have your unknown, your value of your variable there. You just subtract your coefficients. So six equals three C minus nine. Now we're looking pretty good because now it's a two-step equation. So I just need to look at, I just need to undo what's happening to my variable to get my variable by itself. So the first thing we always undo is addition and subtraction. So I'm going to undo subtraction by addition. So I'll add on both sides um, addition property of equality. Therefore, I produce an equivalent equation, which is 15 equals 3c. Now I use the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. By applying the division property of equality, I have another equivalent equation, which is 15 equals c. Therefore, now I can just use the reflexive property to rewrite it. I'm using some good vocabulary in this example. C equals 15, which is the value we're searching for. So if you want to check your answer, you can take 15 and just plug it back in and see if it's true. If it's true, then you did your work correctly. If it's not true, then you messed up somewhere and you need to go back and fix it and see where you went. But um, you know that is what happens when you evaluate this side. It should equal 6. Therefore, that would be a true, uh, true statement. So there you go. Open house.